Before the break, we got an update on Canada-U.S. relations from U.S. Ambassador Paul Salucci. Let's get a different perspective now. Henry Rollins has a lot to say about the subject, and he doesn't hold back. The former punk rocker is now an author, an actor, and a spoken word performer. Henry Rollins was in Canada in February talking about how the Canadians see the United States and how the Americans see us. And he shared his views with Sunday producer Douglas Aerosmith, who ran into Rollins on the road. Now, if you've never heard Henry Rollins before, a warning. He ain't no Paul Salucci. His language is pretty raw. Well, look at that. Hey, man, my car's broken down. I need to get into Toronto. You think you could perhaps give me a ride in? The guy from, uh, from that band, uh, uh, Black Flag. <laughs> I was scooping ice cream at an ice cream store in 1980 and 1981. And every day I'd hitch up my apron and grab my ice cream scoop and say, well, this is what I'm doing. And I'll probably be here for probably a very long time until I go to the next $3.50 an hour job, which will be a different version of this. And um, then all of a sudden I was in a band called Black Flag until they broke up in 1986. We're going to have a TV party tonight. You see different reactions on the faces of Canadians? Is there a different read you get off the crowds? Look at the map of the world. Look at the big piece of land. You know what it says there? It says North America. Do you know why it says North America? Gosh, no, why, eh? It says North America because they don't want to change the typeset because we, when we fully filthify the lower half of the continent, we're all getting in our dickheads and we're driving up to Canada and we're taking it away from you. The only thing that separates you from us is a little painted stick. <laughs> then we'll have you up against the wall. Guns are bad, eh? Guns are bad. Guns are bad. You shouldn't do that, eh? You shouldn't do that. Every time I'm out of America, I'm very careful to be as polite as possible. We're not all like that loud, overpaid, overweight, underwork blowhards who are rude and shove their way to the front of the line. Out of destruction, man. I go, yeah, we're coming in, and that's why there's so many Starbucks and Home Depots everywhere. So once we get here, we'll know where we are. <laughs> and the only thing that will confuse us is blue sky, clear water, and moving fish. Pass that! You're ours. Well, uh, okay, if you're so smart, where are you going to put us? Who the f*** cares? Anyone from not from America is going to be somewhat, to a certain degree, taken in by stereotypes or headlines they read and you know American headlines are always very dramatic and you know woman runs over husband uh, three times with car now says it was an accident it's so weird doing a bunch of shows in America and then going to Canada because um, I'm just geared to insanity homicidal fury <laughs> goose stepping towards this place called the rock and then I come to this place, everyone's like, what's the matter with you? <laughs> and I get asked all the time, like, what's it like to live in America? What the f are you guys doing? You're nuts. And I live there, so I kind of go, I don't know, and nothing seems really out of the unusual. And then you guys look down, I, I wonder, you know, you have such a sleepy, nice country, but if you look at it from where we live, it looks like you guys are just like, and then you look down at us, and all you see is a bunch of people running and ducking for cover. And so I say to Canadians, well, what do you do for fun? How do you keep yourselves amused? They say, we watch you. What about the idea we're self-righteous? Like in the eyes of Americans, we seem to... Well, quite honestly, I I've never... Uh been talked down to by a Canadian that I can remember. I've been condescent, patronized by Europeans, big time. Not very smart, are you? Uh-huh, yeah, I'm really stupid. And uh, you're a rocket scientist, right? I do a lot of interviews with, you know, Canadian media, and they're always really polite to me. But if they know me, they know how easy it is to wind me up. And they, all they have to do is go like, how come you guys are a bunch of psychos? And if I was in America, and you know, I can look at a bunch of Americans and go, you bunch of fucking psychos, and we're like, oh, yeah! And fine, everyone knows, but when some foreigner calls you a psycho, it's fighting words, especially an American in Canada. 
And the guy's really polite. So how come you guys are leading the world in gun homicides every year? And the rational answer is, it's a really horrible problem, and we got to work on it. But instead, the answer that comes out is, because we're at least fucking man enough to get up and shoot a motherfucker who looks at us wrong, you fucking Canadian bitch, get up! And like everyone in the Tim Hortons goes, oh my God, it's an American run, we're all going to die! Oh, yeah. What's the deal with Bush? Well, I don't think he's the guy to be steering the ship. But he was the guy who beat Gore, I think. All right. All righty, Whitey. See you next time. That is Canadian-American relations in a nutshell. All right.